Give me a wolf. That was a good wolf. What's up, whores? Hey, what's up and good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, I don't have Cheeto dust on my face here. Now, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little break from uh, truck content and all the ranch content videos I've been putting out the last week. But it is time we get back into some truck content. Well, all right, not really truck. We'll call it vehicle content. One of my biggest pet peeves is when people call SUVs trucks. And I don't care if they put an SUV on a 1500 truck frame. It is still not a truck. What's up, little guy? What's up, little guy? Well, hello. And I wish I wasn't allergic to them and I can actually pet the little guy. Now, today is a huge day in channel history here. This is gonna be the official first time I've ever ordered a brand new Ford. Of course, we gotta do it wearing my Duramax diesel shirt because, you know, we gotta remember where we came from. Regardless, um, we are heading to the Ford dealership right now because, well, we just got the phone call to place our official order for the 2021 Bronco. Now, you saw in the previous videos, I uh, basically bought a spot in line, so you put $100 deposit down that holds your spot in line on a pre-order. Then you had to wait all these months until they opened up to where we could actually go to the dealership and actually pick our options and place the full order. And that process actually got pushed back a few months. We were supposed to have done it, um, I believe October, we're currently in what, January? That got pushed back a few months, which means production got pushed back a few months. But sometimes you gotta have a little patience. Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys. We are not quite to the Ford dealership yet. We are almost there, and I still have not decided what color Bronco I want to order. I put a poll out on Instagram, and while you guys are uh, trying to help, and I appreciate that, the numbers are so close that it's not really helping here. So yes, you can see I'm in between the carbonized gray, which is the lower one there, and the Oxford white, which is the top. And I'm hoping they have a carbonized gray in person at the dealership that we're going to, because I'm worried about it looking too much like rental car silver. I know they do offer rental car silver as an option. I don't know. I, I don't know until we get there. All right, guys, we're coming into a foreign land here. See, if I start melting, I, I don't really know what happens when you show up at a Ford dealership, even though I was just here the other day getting some OBS parts. But that's beside the point. Now, normally when I come to a dealership, I bring the I Can Afford It truck, which is uh, my Denali, because, it's, you know, when I'm trying to buy a new vehicle, I want to be taken seriously, but... You know, today we're rolling in the single cab. I think the fact that we already put a deposit down and we're coming today to put in an even bigger deposit, I think that's gonna tell them that uh, we're pretty serious. Now, I did see a truck over here on the uh, F-150 section that I think that's carbonized gray that we're gonna go look at, but tell me the front ends here, and I don't think I've ever seen this until now. Tell me that's not like kind of reminiscent to looking like the OBS front end on this truck. I actually am not a fan of the 2021 F-150 front ends, but I don't think it's ever really clicked until I saw it from like way down here at this angle that that is kind of OBS looking. Call me crazy, call me crazy, but can't be the only one that sees that. All right, so let's look here. Again, our goal is to not be rental car silver. Let's see what color we got going on on this F-150 here. Carbonized gray. All right, this is what carbonized gray looks like, guys. And I'm assuming next to it is Oxford white. So we actually kind of have a perfect example here. This carbonized gray is darker than I thought it was going to be from looking at pictures. I wish it was just a tad bit darker. If it was like charcoal, like uh, Chevy did back in the day, the charcoal gray, which is what my 05 1500 HD was, I'd have jumped on it in a heartbeat. But let's see what we got here. This is Oxford White, so this is like ideal situation right here, guys. We can compare the two. But what I like about this, and kind of one of my big concerns is, there's a lot of black plastic on the new Broncos. So I feel like it's gonna blend in better with a darker gray than it is on, say, a white truck. Um, obviously, this one's got chrome accents here, but look at like the door handles and stuff. Like the, the black plastic stuff just stands out so much more than it does on the carbonized gray. Kind of a toss up. I'm not 100% sure exactly the route I wanna go. I thought like seeing it in person would be like dead set, done, but I don't know if I'm sold yet. Now over here, this is true rental car silver. I think we can all agree <laughs> that there is rental car silver. A lot lighter than the carbonized gray that we see over there. And the lighting's horrible right now, so this is probably like not the best time to compare colors. I don't know, guys. I'm just not sold. And speaking of, can we talk about these uh, scratches on a brand new truck here? Jeez, guys. At least fix that before you put it out on the lot. So I don't know what Ford used to call this color, but they had a color very similar to this. And Chris actually used to have... I should probably take this off. I was just talking to one of the sales guys. Chris actually used to have this, an F-150 in dang near this color. I actually liked his color a little bit better. Uh, don't quote me on the year. Oh, three, oh, four, somewhere around there, F-150. So there's only two sales managers here to, um, that deal with all of the Bronco orders. So the salesman went to go get one for me. And in talking to the sales guy, he's like, oh, you're here to finalize your order. He's like, when did you get your reservation in? And luckily, if you guys remember, we fought the website and we got our reservation in on day one. And he's like, man, that's good. Cause if you got it in like a week later or a month later, there is a very good chance you're not getting your Bronco until next year. So 
fingers crossed that doesn't happen. What do we got here? We got us a F450 XLT. Not, not a horrible price, 65 grand. I mean, I don't know why they're advertising they knocked off less than a grand off of it, but. Oh, well, all right. It's not that great of a price either. It's got cloth interior. And then we got Dave's World over here. The vans, the transits. They don't leave anything unlocked around here. That's for sure. Let's see. Oh, ooh, Dave, check this one out, man. I don't think that's real leather, but it's got vinyl-ish leather look seats. Let's take a step back here and look at these things from a distance. I don't know what color that is, but that's got like a weird greenish tint to it. Probably go check this one out. Let's go see what color this is. Now, obviously, the Bronco is going to come in a bunch of different colors. They have like a seafoam green. They call that Area 51. They got a lot of like beachier colors and like kind of trying to go to some of the retro colors of the Broncos. Now, mind you, if I lived on the beach and I was going to be driving this thing with the top down all the time or with the doors off, I'd get like a beachy color with the white roof. But currently, uh, that's not going to happen. But now that I live in the dirt and off road, like I want to build this thing to be kind of cool off roadish. So that's kind of something else I got to take into consideration with the color is something that's not going to show dust and something that's not going to show scratches like crazy. What do we got here? What color is this? Silver spruce. It's definitely uh, an old man color. I'm not quite at the age of my life where I need a silver spruce color or something in my life. Now, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but I don't know if you guys can see it. The other thing I don't like about this color is it might be the flake in it that's doing it, which the flake is actually really nice and it does give it more of a high-end paint job look. That's the reason I opted to uh, add the flake to the gray on my OBS truck is I didn't want to just go with one of those like, not matte colors, but solid, solid colors. Cause to me it looks almost plasticky, but the second you throw a flake in there, you get a little more high-end look. But anyways, um, if you see it from this angle with the sun shining at it, it turns it an almost gold color. And kind of like I'm not the age for a spruce, silver spruce color in my life i'm also not the age for a cold color truck or a brown color truck <sighs> this oxford white though the ford oxford white is just such a clean look but i worry about the black plastic standing out i honestly don't know guys like i don't even want to walk inside yet until i have a set decision on what color we're going with because this is super super tough this is the hardest decision of 2021 we had to make so far now yes i did order two of these but today we're only finalizing the order on one and that's for a very good reason ford is offering a couple different uh, roof options one of which is uh like the black hard plastic roof and then the other one is the paint to match roof or you could get it a couple different colors i think well the paint to match roof which is what i honestly want i don't want the black plastic roof is not coming until later this year or most likely it sounds like next year so i'm gonna hold off on ordering one of these so i can get one of them with the painted roof and then we're just gonna have to order one with the black plastic roof because well i really want a bronco now or i guess as soon as we can get one so that's another factor that's playing in if i got a all white one i kind of want like an all white roof to match if I got the uh, carbonized gray, I guess it doesn't really matter if it's black because the black accents kind of blend in really well. Let's go see if we can find carbonized gray in a little SUV or something. Not quite the truck size and give us a better idea here because such a tough decision. Normally I come to a dealership like all ready to go. I know what I want like parts wise and build list wise. I know all that stuff that I want. All right, we're in the SUV section. Is that a Ford Ranger? Assuming this Ranger is carbonized gray as well. Hey, oh no, this is magnetic so this is not carbonized gray kind of like magnetic better i wonder if carbonized gray replaced magnetic what's crazy is they had a couple of bronco sports here when i was here last week or two weeks ago i don't remember at this point i think two weeks ago getting some parts for the gray obs apparently those are long gone it's funny because the other ford dealership i was at had more of them but they all had not for sale yet on the windshields guys i've never been this torn in my life but we got to make a decision today now so you know what I think I've made up my mind. I'm gonna go inside here and uh, see if I can find the sales manager and let's get this thing ordered up. Apparently the uh, can afford a truck probably would've got a manager out here quicker, but rolling up in the OBS, I think the sales guy said he'd go get the manager, just basically said, yeah, forget this, I'm good. But look at this beauty underneath the Ford sign. The one thing I'm disappointed in is I didn't live in the time where I went to car lots and got to see these things. Can you imagine? car lot back in the day with all the OPS trucks lined up. All right guys, well, we made it to the uh, Ford sales office here. I think uh, we start picking out our mop. Actually, I, would, I kind of enjoy that color gray right there on Ford. And yes, I'm joking. I own as many Fords as I do GMs. Don't worry guys. So we're currently waiting on a sales manager here, um, which is I guess is either giving me more time to sit here and pick the color or more time to dread the fact that I haven't picked the color. But let me give you guys kind of a little insight into how my brain's working right now. Without having the painted top, here is kind of what it looks like. You can see the, the black hard top. Well, I guess, I don't know if they're calling it black, but it's pretty gray plastic. That's the top that we would be getting. And while it doesn't look horrible against the white, like it's 
really going to be a big factor in playing into my decision. If I can get a white painted top, which unfortunately we're not going to be able to get to until like the second or third wave of releases, if not even later, so it'll probably be sometime next year. Um, yeah, we're kind of stuck with the gray hard top. And I personally hate sitting inside waiting, so we're going to wander the lot some more, and I think we're actually going to wander back over to the carbonized gray F-150 over here. Now that the uh, sun is setting pretty decently here, let's see what this thing kind of looks like in more of a shady look. Also, and I know I'm going to be a hater right now at a Ford dealership, but can we talk about all the ripples that you can see in the doors on this thing? Like, come on, Ford. Or is that known as the aluminum ripple? Maybe it's a selling feature. All right, so here back, don't mind the color. Second you see the sun hit it, turns gold. And the problem is these Broncos aren't like $20,000 vehicles where like I get it, I don't like it, I just pitch it for, you know, 18, 17 grand, take a loss, and then go buy another one. These things are freaking expensive. And once we do the full build out, I'll show you guys the uh, build sheet that we got. Eventually, it'll be my turn to go sit down in the sales office with the sales manager, but I know he's busy right now with another couple. I don't know what they're ordering, but they're ordering something. Maybe it's a Bronco. See, now this is how it would look with a white top, and I think that's definitely the look I'd be going for with white. Now, I'm not saying you can't buy the gray plastic hard top and have it smooth and painted. That's super expensive. And the amount of work, and as somebody that has had a lot of plastic body panels smooth and painted, like, I don't know if it's worth it if you can get it from the factory already done. Also, shout out to whoever uh, pulled the old sign off and put the new sign up over here at the Ford dealership. You really nailed that one. You know, a couple gallons of paint would have gone a long way. They're making me wait too long. Getting bored and starting to nitpick everything at the dealership here. All right, let's go back inside. Maybe they're ready for us now. Hopefully before nighttime. guys I'm so bored found out they left the GT 500 open so we crossed the little blue velvet rope there maybe this will get them to come quicker if we just sit in this thing and maybe we're not supposed to be in it I don't know all I know is that a GM dealership when I wanted to order something we were able to order it real quick carbon fiber in this thing's nice though sweet little badge green leaves a little bit to be desired wish it was a bigger screen center console section and then I'm just not a fan of these dial knobs at least you do get paddle shifters though nice suede on the steering wheel we'll see when oh no 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 suede on the ceiling where do you even start this thing am i crazy that i'm not seeing a push to start anywhere uh no oh there it is a little blends in blends in a little bit i like that though looks like we got a scratch right there let's see they're asking i think 104,000. i'll give them 60,000. it's got scratches these ricardo race seats are pretty sick though I'm seriously so bored, so overweighting. See, it's dark out. My phone's at 1%. We'll grab the old cigarette lighter here, out the single cab OBS, and my iPhone cable. Let's go find us a vehicle in the showroom with an available cigarette lighter. I mean, we're not Dave, so we don't need the van. I don't know how pissed they'd be if we did it in the GT500. GT500 is a little too low to the ground for me. We'll use this escape here. Oh, look at that, it even kind of matches all the color in here. All right, so I'm overhearing the sales manager who's just in that office right there. It might not be his fault. It might be the clients he's dealing with that's taken. I think I've been here for at least two hours, um, going on three hours. And it sounds like they're ordering a Bronco too, but hopefully, hopefully our process is not that tough. And again, it might be the clients that are being a pain in the butt, not the sales manager that's taking forever. It sounds like they're wrapping up though. I hope, fingers crossed. Hey, are you Renee? Yes. Hey Renee, I'm Ryan. I don't know if the sales guy told you I've been waiting for you for a couple hours here. I am. I'm so sorry. You want to do both? That means there's two vehicles coming in your name that you're going to leave a thousand dollar deposit on both of them. It's kind of looking like a lot. Some of the options I want are going to be delayed anyway. I mean, if the 2.7 engine and the leather trim interior, like that's kind of the route I wanted to go. So you're looking at the... I had ordered wild track or the, I had ordered the wild track, but I think I want to bump it down to a Badlands or whatever the one right below it is, because then you get the all black interior. Correct. Yeah, I don't want the the tan interior. I mean, anything beyond the wild track is a lot quicker. You can get, for example, the Outer Banks, the, the Badlands, Badlands with the wild track. Well, I was thinking we do the Badlands because you can pretty much put all the features that the Wild Track has. Right, on it. the difference is roughly about uh, three, four thousand hertz. So I'm fine with going to a Badlands and then 
just doing the luxury equipment and all that. Well, Cutter? That's what I'm going back and forth on. Uh, well, so we would be going with the 10-speed, but I think wheels and tire-wise, if that's all that changes. Uh, well, you're getting more of a mutter. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be swapping wheels and tires anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Whatever the cheapest wheel this, tire option yeah, is. Yeah, this is right there. High gloss, aluminum wheels, if you're changing out. Yeah, let's go with the, the, whatever comes with it, standard. So that's going to come in with the 285, 17, 70R17, still nice size, good thickness and everything. Now, you got a hard top molded in color. That's a 695 module, the modular hard top shadow black painted. So the painted one's the delayed one, right? Right. That's the late 2021. So this is the one that's painted. That's the delay one. Okay, so for the front end, you got the front bumper, heavy duty modular. Okay. Modu uh, bash plates are included. All right. Oh, uh, one second here. Uh, remote start. Yep, I want that. Uh, keyless entry pad, I mean you can, right here. Yep, I Keep want that keys too. right there. Okay, so get the remote start, you need the 10 speed automatic transmission. Perfect. Okay. That sounds good to me. Keyless entry, you said yes? Yep. And then you get the headlamps right there with the LED right here too. So these are not just the regular ones. Interior cloth, you can get the McGregor vinyl seats or if you want the leather trim vinyl seats. Let's do the leather trim. Okay, that's $21.95 option. That's fine. Okay, it comes with standard right there, dual zone, not auxiliary switches, floor liner. Did you want the floor liners? What that is, actually, let me show you that first. It actually, it's right here. So it protects the, uh, it's all plastic so you can spray on it and everything else. Yeah, let's do that. You can do, uh, they got two different types of uh, sink systems. Okay. Which is the regular one, this is already included, or you got the nicer flat screen that's there, sink four. 2.3 or the 2.7? 2.7. So it's gonna be there, 10 speed automatic transmission. Yep. Select shift on that too. Perfect. Uh, on-demand engagement, you know, four is by four, it got go to f it comes with the 4.46 axle ratio with the locking diff. If you're looking at some heavier duty locking differential, it's a 4.7. Now, this is the equipment group, standard equipment. We're in the mid-level based on the screen. High, you can go with the high equipment group. That includes 12 inch, 360 degree cameras, sound deadening, forward sensing, uh, side view LED, LED approach lamps, LED sync for recognition there, and all that. Now, isn't there one above it? If you scroll down, I think you can go over one. Higher package? Yeah, there you go. Go up. See the arrow right there? Nope, down. Yeah, that arrow. This one? Yep. I think there's a luxury, and that's the one I want to do. Oh, yeah. okay. The luxury. That's right. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the one I want to do. Because that one gives you the adaptive cruise control and all that. All right. So that includes b &O sound system, subwoofer, remove sync for, and so it comes with uh, the... A different screen. Yeah. That's fine. So the higher one. So it's actually, you give it as a group package. Wireless phone charging, all the features there too as well. Okay. Okay, this is the luxury package. Yep. Okay, included co-pilot. Did you need the... You said a towing package? Are you looking at yeah. trailering? Yeah, let's do a tow package. Okay, now they have the rock crawl. On these, you can't get the running boards unless you go with the rock rails, four-door kit. So what these are, it's actually, it goes up and down. Standard on Badlands model. Well, it should be standard on it then, right? Uh, bumper, fenders, rear and roof, uh, tube door accessory kit. Those are their uh, soft temp right there. Uh, mesh. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Racks and carriers. Uh, Bike no. carriers. I think I'm good on all that too. Okay, dual zone uh, leather trim vinyl seats option. Mm -hmm. Floor liners for the rear 160. Uh, so 2.7 EcoBoost 1895 10 speed automatic transmission. Towing capabilities 595. And then so it's 59,000. Gotcha. Okay. Whew. It's already been 15 minutes, right? Yeah, I think it's been 15, yeah. So now the issue we're running into, he changed my from a reservation to an order, but it's not populating in his computer. There's a chance Ford has already shut down the system for the night, but he also says sometimes it takes 30 minutes to an hour. Whew, all right, guys. Man, that was an absolute process, and that was my luck. We are still not done. Um, unfortunately, on Ford's side of things, 
uh, yeah, their servers are apparently either shut down or something's happening to where it wasn't populating on his system. All right, y'all. Well, today marks day two. It's actually two days after. So this, I guess, is day three of our first trip to the Ford dealership and trying to finalize this order for a Bronco. Clearly, you can see I am gearing up for uh, the chance that it's going to be another long day. Hopefully, today is not a long day. I think all we need to do is finalize it in the computer, sign the paperwork, and sign a check. But I'm not sure. <laughs> At this point, I don't know if the world wants me to have a Bronco. So, no joke, one of the main reasons I want to get a Bronco is not only do I think they're cool, but living on a dirt road with some potholes in it and driving old, <laughs> beat up trucks here, that the suspension's not that great, especially on the single cab here. This thing rides like an absolute brick. But I just want something more modern that I can daily drive that's not insanely overbuilt and expensive like my Denali. And I say that now, but we're probably gonna overbuild it and put more money into it. That's gonna make me not wanna drive it daily, but I'm gonna request you guys hold me accountable when I get the new Bronco and make sure that I daily drive that thing because I am over the rough roads. Now mind you, it's literally only a mile of dirt road. Um, that's it, everything else is paved, but it's enough in old beat up trucks to make you really want something modern. Can't win, Renee. I can't win. All right, so we are back at Ford. Apparently the computers are still fighting them today, but let's see what happens. 97.2. We passed. You passed. All right, Renee. Let's make this happen, hopefully. Okay, so I still kept it. All right, perfect. The order came in. I mean, it got the order number, so that's good. So I'm able to make the changes and everything else, too. All right. Yeah, because the one that you originally had was completely different. It was the yep. higher term level with the red color, so that took a while. 2.7 liter. Yep. Okay, this is the order number. Four-door, four-wheel drive, of course. 334A is the package. Oh, you're kidding me. So, uh -oh. that's not the sound I want to hear, Renee. <sighs> Had it saved, what the heck? Is it 330? Uh, D. Yeah, E5D. E5D and then 334A. Yep. 334A. Leather trim vinyl with the black seats. Yep. Okay. All black. It's funny because when people build it, right. it lets you do anything and then when you On do On the it computer. Here, yeah. No, that's what I hate about these things. I just want to make sure every option is there because. Everything it's, sure it's you know how much of a pain in butt it is to do things after the fact and all right guys Woo. that was another process today the computers weren't cooperating and a lot of times when you like try and select certain options it deselects other options even though it'll let you build it on like Ford's build and price on their website so we dealt with a little bit of that then the computers kept like resetting but we finally have one of my 2021 Broncos ordered. I'm not gonna tell you guys what color I went with yet, and I know that's kind of a jerk move, but I think it'll be more fun to surprise you guys with the color that we ended up going with. So one of the big things that kept fighting us was the leather trim seats. Now the whole reason I went from a Badlands to a Wild Track was the Wild Track's gonna be delayed, the Badlands is gonna come out quicker. Thankfully, when we put this order in, we we pretty specifically selected options that aren't gonna have a material delay. Obviously with the Rona, everything's getting delayed. And they said it looks like everything we put in, there's no material holds, which means we got about the cleanest build we're gonna get, and that's gonna be the soonest we can get a build, even though we're on the West Coast, typically we don't get things quicker than the East Coast. So we're gonna see what happens. But aside from that, I am super, super stoked to start a new build. Hopefully it gets here in time and there's no crazy delays, but oh, if we know my luck, we know there's probably gonna be a delay. But with that, we're gonna wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, okay, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best, I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah.